What's going on, everyone? This is Star. Welcome to the channel. And how was your week? My week was fine. Thank you. Listen. So today, we're going to talk about demon possession. Yes. And we're going to talk about Diddy. Roll the clip. Five things I learned about demons after being demonically possessed. This video is going to help you from being oppressed by them and help you get deliverance. Number one, demons love reactions out of people. They are identical to little kids who seek reactions from people. Desperately. You ever notice, and I'm going to give you an, an analogy In the workspace, you ever notice how there's, there's, there's always this group of people Or this person that's always doing something to get a reaction out of somebody You see what I'm saying? It don't even got to just be the workspace This could be a friend, this could be a, uh, the father of your kids, the mother of your kids your, your parent, your brother, sister, cousin, don't matter But a person that just lives to get a reaction out of you Like that just gives them life, that's a demon That's how demons operate They don't have genuine life They have to drain us of our life for us to feel some, something this is why they inhabit people's bodies and use them. This is why they'll be in somebody else's body and use this vessel to do harm to other people, to get life out of them. You see what I'm saying? It's a never-ended thing. But a lot of people not seeing what's going on because there's a spiritual blindness. Y'all just, and y'all, when we take things so personal, be so quick to be um, offended, so quick to argue with people not knowing, like, bro, this is a demon that you that you up against. Why you think there's so much confusion going on in the workspace? Gossip. People doing stuff to get back at each other. It's just a whole bunch of witchcraft. Whole bunch of witchcraft, but that's how demons are. They love the little bit of reactions. Why you think? How, well, it's like what would drive a person to do something so subtle to get a reaction out of you? That's a demon. Like it's like you don't have that much life in you to where you gotta do something so subtle to you gotta really see me out of character to feel something. That's evil. Let me tell you how I woke up. Ten years ago, I started quietly studying the secret society. I had a number of books, and I was studying for fun not realizing that it was actually preparing me for future spiritual warfare. And I had no idea. You know, a lot of people come after light workers, but they're begging to steal their spiritual gifts. Isn't that funny? Oh, light workers are crazy. They're delusional. And then they go home doing the spell to take those spiritual gifts. Life is so funny. Understand, when people can't keep their name out of your mouth, they really want to be you. They'll do anything to wear your meat suit. Now I understand why YouTube has so many mental health commercials, because people out here really need help. Bombshell new allegations against Diddy, and this might be one of the worst ones yet. According to the new lawsuit filed by Tony Busby, the man who filed it was 10 years old in 2005 when he went to audition for Diddy. Now, Diddy told the family that he wanted to meet with the boy first alone before meeting the rest of the family. So they went to a hotel near Madison Square Garden, and the boy rapped a few songs for Diddy, and apparently it was going very well. Diddy then asked the boy how bad he wanted to be a star, and the boy replied, I would do anything. So during this conversation, the boy was handed a soda. A few minutes later, he started to feel a little bit funny. Diddy then told the boy, well, sometimes you gotta do stuff that you don't want to do, and then proceeded to unzip his pants and whip it out. He then forced the boy to perform acts on him before the boy passed out. When he woke up, he could tell that he had been arred. When he came to, he was crying for his mom and dad, and Diddy apparently threatened him, saying, if you tell them what happened, I will unalive both of them. 
But the boy didn't heed Diddy's warnings and told his parents anyways. But his parents and him ended up getting so scared that they decided not to report it to the police. And given that Diddy had the means and the ability, they were rightfully scared. Now, I'm not sure how many suits were dropped today in total, but we'll find out as this goes on. Make sure to hit that follow button. If you see that I'm live, it means that we're talking about it. Now, I understand that some children out here, they want to be stars or their parents see the talent in their children and they want their children to be stars. But why in the hell would you allow your kid along with a celebrity? And then when you find out your kid was violated by the celebrity, you don't say anything? Oh, no, the parents need to be locked up. Celebrities are just like us. They get up in the morning, they take a shower, they eat breakfast, and they go to work. They just happen to have an amazing talent, and they get crazy money for it. That's the only difference. These celebrities, they make mistakes, and a lot of them have a lot of dark secrets. And for Diddy, it's allegedly violating children. It is nothing more disgusting than people thinking it's okay to violate and sacrifice children. And this is nothing new. People have been talking about this way before I got on YouTube. People have been talking about this way before I started reading about it in the numbers books I've read. A couple of summers ago, I was sitting on my porch, and there was a group of people that walked by, and they were casually talking about the Illuminati. This stuff is no longer a secret, not with all this technology in the world. When I was in real estate, I was surrounded by people that wanted to be in the industry because it's the West Coast. And then I was meeting a lot of producers as well. And I would have conversation with these people, and they were always surprised by how much I knew. And they would say, oh, how do you know all this? And I would tell them the Internet. And one guy, he told me, hey, show me the videos you've watched on YouTube. I pulled out my phone, I showed him, and he was horrified. There are no more secrets. It's just like with the secret society. It's the same thing. A lot of people have conversations about the secret society and they get on pins and needles about it. But the secret's out. Now, back when I was living in Michigan, I knew about blood sacrifices, but I didn't learn about energy and energy harvesting and black magic until I hit the West Coast because I was surrounded by people that was practicing and they were very open about it. And I said, you know what? I better get on game. Now, if you're somebody that has dreams of coming to the West Coast and you want to be in the industry, let me tell you something. You better start studying now. And I'm not talking about your craft. What I'm saying is you need to start studying witches, warlocks, energy, energy harvesting, the whole kit and caboodle. Because when you hit this West Coast, you're going to be surrounded by people with decades of experience and you need to be ready. Your life depends on it. Had I not had the discipline to sit down and study the game for 10 plus years, guess what? I wouldn't be here right now. Until next time. I'm star. Let me tell you something. You know they talking about you, right? You know they watching you, right? You know they plotting on you, right? You know they dislike you, right? You know they hating on you, right? You know they recruiting other people that don't even know you to go against you, right? But see, one thing you got to understand, through all that, they can't stop you. They can hate on you, they still can't stop you. They can dislike you, they still can't stop you. They can talk about you, they still can't stop you. Yeah, they can stop talking to you, they still can't stop you. It don't matter what they do, they still can't stop you. They gonna try all that. See, these people gonna do everything in their power to stop you, but they still can't stop you because you're chosen. You in position, you in formation, and they can't stand it, and that's why they hate it. Tell you something, man. They watching you, man, but they can't stop you. Yeah, they talking about you, but they can't stop you. They stop talking to you because they talking about you, but they still can't stop you. No matter what they do, don't stop because they can't stop you. Keep going. I don't give a fuck about no backlash okay. I been backstabbed and laughed at. We gonna see who get the fucking last laugh and we do them on numbers then. I'm Star, the real magician. Good night.